Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this very very interesting example. We have been given that ABC is an acute triangle in which D, E, F are points on BC, CA, AB respectively such that AD perpendicular to BC, AE equal to AC and CF bisects angle C internally. Suppose CF meets AD and DE in M and N respectively. If FM equal to 2, MN equal to 1 and NC equal to 3, then the perimeter of triangle ABC is equal to how much? We have to find out that. So let's understand this question. We have been given ABC is an acute triangle. D, E, F are points on BC, CA and AB respectively such that AD perpendicular to BC, AE equal to EC and CF is angular bisector of angle C internally. Now we have to find out the perimeter of triangle ABC given to us that FM equal to 2, MN equal to 1 and NC equal to 3. Now to solve this problem, let us start with what is the information given to us. We know the only numericals we have is Fm equal to 2 and Mn equal to 1 and Nc equal to 3. We also observe that 2 plus 1, 3 equal to 3. That means Fn equal to Nc or N is midpoint of Cf. We have E midpoint of AC and we have N midpoint of CF. So by using midpoint theorem or converse of basic proportionality theorem, we should be able to prove that DE is parallel to AB. So let's go ahead and do that part first. Okay. So I'll write down here we have been given FM equal to 2, MN equal to 1 and NC equal to 3. Now from that we understand Fn equal to Fm plus Mn which is equal to 2 plus 1 equal to 3 also Nc equal to 3. If Fn equal to 3, Nc equal to 3 that means N is midpoint of N is midpoint of Cf. Now let's consider triangle ACF. We'll write down in triangle ACF we have CE by EA is equal to CN by NF which is equal to 1. That means we know that NE is parallel to AF by converse of Thales theorem or converse of basic proportionality theorem and also by midpoint theorem a line segment joining two midpoints side a line segment joining two sides two midpoints of two sides is parallel and equal to half of the third side. This means that NE is parallel to AF not only that we also know NE is equal to half of AF. So let's write down that. That's important to us. So from that I can say DE is parallel to AB and also we know that NE is equal to half of AF. You can also use similar triangles and we can see that here 3 by 6. So NE divided by AF also will be in the ratio 1 is to 2 or NE equal to half of AF. Now if we consider triangle ACB we have CE by CE equal to EA and we have ED parallel to AB by converse of midpoint theorem we know that CD equal to DB or you can also say that by intercept theorem we know that CD equal to BDs. CD equal to BD. So let's go ahead and write down that. We can write down in triangle ABC we have 
CE equal to EA comma DE is parallel to AB that means by converse of midpoint theorem we get BD equal to DC if we got BD equal to DC that means BD equal to DC then we know that ABC is an isosceles triangle how we can do that once we know BD equal to DC now let's take triangles in triangle ADB comma triangle ADC we have AD equal to AD we have angle ADB equal to angle ADC equal to 90 degrees we also know that DB equal to DC so we have SIS congruency by CPCT what we can write down by CPCT we have angle ABD equal to angle ACD that means triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle now once we understood that it's an isosceles triangle let's move ahead since now we understand that AD which is a altitude earlier is also now a median now this can happen in two scenarios when the triangle is an isosceles triangle and the triangle is an equilateral triangle we can understand that we have only information of CF that means this triangle should be proven as an equilateral triangle now we are able to prove that it's an isosceles triangle so let's go ahead and see how we can prove that this triangle is an equilateral triangle such that we can then we can say that CF is altitude and we can easily find out the side if we know the altitude of equilateral triangle so what we have proven just now we have proven that this is our first point second point the third point we have proven that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle we have proven that now let's move forward and see how we can prove that this triangle is an equilateral triangle now we have been given that CF is an angular bisector so let's go ahead and write down according to angle bisector theorem what we know we'll write down in triangle CED in triangle CED according to angle bisector theorem we know that CE divided by CD is equal to EN divided by ND now let's make this as equation 1 we know that CE by CD equal to EN divided by ND now we know NE equal to half of AF if I am able to prove that ND is also equal to half of AF by using similar triangles then I can prove that CE equal to CD then AC will be equal to BC then ABC will become an equilateral triangle so now to prove that what we will do we will take we will see two similar triangles here let's understand where they are we have vertically opposite angles are equal we have that we also have alternate interior angles are equal so this angle is equal to this angle now if we consider the triangles let's write down in triangles D M N comma triangle A M F we have A a similarity criteria because we have angle D M N 
is equal to angle AMF. They are vertically opposite angles. We also have angle NDM is equal to angle FAM. They are alternate interior angles. Therefore, triangle DMN is similar to triangle AMF by AA similarity criteria. That means we know that corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So let's write down that. We can write down the corresponding sides DM divided by AM is equal to MN divided by MF is equal to DN divided by AF. Now from that we can see that MN is 1 divided by MF is equal to 2 DN by AF equal to 1 by 2 or can I say DN equal to AF by 2. Now earlier we have proven NE equal to half of AF. Here we got DN equal to AF by 2. From that we can understand that these two sides are these two sides are equal to each other. Now we can say from NE equal to half of AF NE equal to half of AF and DN equal to half of AF both together we can say that DN equal to NE equal to half of AF. Now earlier we have written angular bisector theorem and we said CE by CD equal to DN by NE by DN but D NE equal to DN that means CE equal to CD that means AC equal to BC. So let's go ahead and write down that step. Now according to angular bisector theorem we have written earlier that CE divided by CD equal to NE divided by DN but just now we have found out that NE by DN equal to 1 that means CE equal to CD. If CE equal to CD that means 2CE is equal to 2CD but 2CE is equal to AC because E is midpoint. Similarly 2CD equal to BC because D is the midpoint. Now we got AC equal to BC. Earlier we got AB equal to AC. We found out that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. AB equal to AC is equal to BC. That means ABC is an equilateral triangle. Once we know ABC is an equilateral triangle, we can write down we can write down that CF is an altitude of equilateral triangle. CF is an altitude of of equilateral triangle ABC. So CF equal to root 3 by 2 into side that is either AB or BC or AC. But CF equal to 6. 6 equal to root 3 by 2 into AB. So AB equal to 2 into 6 divided by root 3 which is equal to 4 root 3. Once we know AB equal to 4 root 3, we can write down perimeter is equal to 3 times of AB because all sides are equal. That is 3 into 4 root 3 which is equal to 12 into root 3 which is equal to 12 into 1.732 which is equal to 1.73 we are taking to be precise. 12 into 1.73 is 20.76 I think. 20, you can cross check that but I think it's 20.76. Generally numbers won't bluff with me. 
173 into 12, 1732, 46, 20, 76. Perfect. So, our answer is 20.76. Now, let's try to recap how we have proven this triangle is an equilateral triangle in very simple steps. First, we understood that Fn equal to Nc. We know Ae equal to Ec. By midpoint theorem, we know that Ne is parallel to Af or De is parallel to Ab. Now consider ACB triangle, we have CE equal to A, EA and DE parallel to AB, that means BD equal to DC. If BD equal to DC, AD is perpendicular to BC, then ABC becomes an isosceles triangle, that means AB equal to AC. Now, if you consider triangles AMF and DM, AMF and DMN, you observe they are similar triangles, the sides in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That means we know dn equal to half of af. But since we have here en equal to half of af, we understand that dn equal to ne. When dn becomes ne by angular bisector theorem, we have ce equal to cd. If ce equal to cd, then ac equal to bc. That means ab equal to bc equal to ac. That means we finally understood that CF is an altitude of equilateral triangle because in, in equilateral triangle, angular bisector, median, perpendicular bisector, all of them is only one line. So CF is altitude. That means we can find out CF equal to root 3 by 2 into side. From that we can calculate what is AB, multiply that with 3 to get the perimeter.